Ever been curious about the mechanics behind system hacking? Well, you're not alone. This art of penetrating computer systems is a fascinating field that draws interest from tech enthusiasts to professional cybersecurity experts. System hacking is all about finding vulnerabilities in a system and exploiting them not for malicious intent, but to help secure them. It's a game of cat and mouse where the mouse is constantly evolving and the cat needs to stay one step ahead. In the world of cybersecurity, system hacking plays a vital role. It's the front line of defense against cyber threats, a proactive approach to securing our digital world. But let's be clear, this information is not for misuse. This is about ethical hacking, where knowledge is used responsibly to protect and secure, not to harm. Intrigued? Let's dive into the world of system hacking. First, to exploit a system, you need to understand it. Just as a locksmith needs to know the inner workings of a lock in order to pick it, a hacker must understand the system they are attempting to breach. This understanding is far from superficial. It delves deep into the system's architecture, vulnerabilities and security measures. Imagine you're a detective. You're trying to solve a mystery and the system is your suspect. It's your job to know this suspect inside out, to understand its habits, its weaknesses and its secrets. In the world of cybersecurity, this is known as system analysis. A system's vulnerabilities are often its Achilles heel. These are the weak spots, the loopholes, the cracks where the system's defenses can be penetrated. Identifying these vulnerabilities can be a complex task, requiring a deep knowledge of coding and system architecture. But once found, they can be exploited to gain unauthorized access or disrupt the system's function. Understanding the system's architecture is another crucial part of the process. This is like reading the blueprint of a building before attempting a heist. You need to know the layout, where the security measures are, where the valuable data is stored. It's about knowing the system's structure, its components and how they interact. But of course, no heist is complete without understanding the security measures in place. It's not just about knowing where the laser beams and security cameras are, metaphorically speaking. It's about understanding the encryption techniques, the firewalls, the intrusion detection systems. These are the hurdles you'll have to overcome, the puzzles you'll need to solve. In essence, understanding the system you're hacking is like preparing for a battle. It's about knowing your enemy, understanding their strengths and weaknesses, and using this knowledge to your advantage. It's about being one step ahead always. This understanding isn't something that can be skimmed over or rushed. It's a process that requires time, patience and a deep level of knowledge. So remember, when it comes to hacking, knowledge about the system is your first weapon. Next, we move on to the reconnaissance stage. This phase is often likened to a game of chess, where the player must study the board before making a move. The aim is to gather as much information as possible about the target system. Reconnaissance is the first crucial step in system hacking. It's not about rushing in, it's about being meticulous and methodical. In this stage, hackers use a variety of tools and methods to probe and learn about the system. Tools like scanners can be used to identify open ports and services running on a system. This can provide a hacker with valuable insights into potential vulnerabilities. Enumeration, on the other hand, is about identifying the resources that a system has. It helps to understand the network's topology, its users, and other vital information that can be exploited. Remember, the more you know about the system, the easier it will be to exploit. Now we come to the most exciting part, crafting the attack. Crafting an attack is like constructing a puzzle. It's where your information gathering pays off, where your creativity and technical skills truly come to the fore. You assemble the pieces you've collected, each one a potential key to the system's vulnerabilities. Let's ponder upon the various attack methods. One of the most common is exploiting vulnerabilities. Systems like humans are far from perfect. They have weak spots, vulnerabilities, and it's our job to find them. This could be anything from a software bug to an outdated security protocol. The trick is to identify these vulnerabilities and then exploit them to gain access. Now, exploiting vulnerabilities sounds technical, and it is. But let's not forget the human element. Social engineering is another common attack method. It involves manipulating people into breaking normal security procedures. 
This could be as straightforward as tricking someone into revealing their password or as complex as impersonating a high-ranking official to gain access to restricted areas. Speaking of passwords, password cracking is another method that deserves mention. It's an oldie, but a goodie. Passwords are often the first line of defense, but they are also one of the most frequently exploited vulnerabilities. With the right tools and enough patience, a hacker can crack even the most complex password. But remember, every system is different. Every puzzle has its unique pieces. As a hacker, you need to be adaptable. You need to think like a chameleon, changing your strategy based on the system you're trying to infiltrate. What works for one may not work for another. The key is to stay flexible, stay creative and keep learning. In the end, crafting the attack is not just about technical expertise. It's about creativity. It's about thinking outside the box, about seeing connections where others see none. It's about turning the impossible into the possible. Crafting the attack is where your creativity and technical skills truly shine. We've covered a lot today, so let's summarize. We started our journey by delving into the intrigue of system hacking, unraveling its complexities and understanding its core principles. This set the groundwork for our exploration into the depths of understanding the system, where we dissected its components and learned the importance of knowing the terrain before launching an attack. We then moved on to the art of reconnaissance, the tactical process of gathering information about the target system, which is crucial to crafting a successful attack. We saw how this intelligence can be employed to devise the perfect attack strategy. Finally, we delved into crafting the attack itself, where we explored various techniques and strategies, always emphasizing the importance of precision, patience and persistence. But remember, this knowledge is not to be misused. Ethical hacking is about improving system security, not breaching it for malicious intent. Remember, with knowledge comes responsibility. Use what you've learned today wisely.